Thoughts so. on the Aaron Donald record setting contract. Now, my question for you guys, we came into this show with this topic, but Cooper Cup just got paid three years, eighty million dollars, twenty six point six million a year. Aaron Donald got paid three years, ninety five million. Now the Rams have three players set to make twenty five million per year on their current contract. That's the most such players in the NFL. The Browns and the Raiders are the only other teams with two such players, and 12 teams have zero such players. Atlanta, Baltimore, Carolina, Chicago, Cincinnati, Houston, Jacksonville, New England, New Orleans, New York Giants, the New York Jets, and Seattle. Are the Rams proving right now that the cap space doesn't exist? It feels okay. like they, they're the latest example that – Cap space is just a myth. They're giving everybody a big time deal. I feel like the Saints were the first ones to really expose the fact that cap is really a myth. However, you look at the Rams and the fact that they're able to sign all these guys to ridiculously high contracts. Of course, you're gonna if you're a regular fan and looking at Aaron Donald getting thirty five million, you have Cooper Cup getting twenty five million a season. Stafford uh, Stafford's gonna have over exactly. Jalen Ramsey's the highest, second highest paid corner in the NFL. You're going to look at this team and you're going to automatically think, how is it possible that they could afford all these superstars? It gets to a point where these guys are so smart in the front office. They know how to manipulate contracts. They know how to, to deal with giving signing bonuses where it doesn't necessarily go all towards the cap. 100%. It's looking like, what's the point of a cap? If you're going to, be, if you're going to enforce a, a salary cap, actually make it a thing where teams cannot afford to sign players. The fact that they were able to go out and get Allen Robinson also as well to, to add to this team that's already putting expenses into so many different avenues. Yes, it's it's very uh, peculiar that they're able to afford uh, this many contracts on under one team. Uh, but to speak about Aaron Donald and Cooper Cup, 100% I'm happy for these guys. Cooper Cup put up the greatest wide receiver season we'll ever see in our lifetimes, truthfully. To, to lead the league in all three categories, receptions, yards, touchdowns, to go into the to the playoffs and be dominant basically every single game, go into the Super Bowl, be, be the Super Bowl MVP. He, he deserved more than $25 million, but he understands that he had to take a little bit. He said it. Listen, I'm just here to ball. I want to win first. I don't need the contract. If it's there, I'll be happy to sign it, but I don't necessarily need it. Him taking twenty five was a favor to the Rams. He could have asked for more if he wanted to. Uh, Aaron Donald. He needed to be the tiest uh, non-quarterback in the NFL. This is arguably the best defensive player in the history of the game. Eight-time Pro Bowler, seven-time All-Pro, Super Bowl champion, Hall of Fame, All-2010s team, three-time Defensive Player of the Year, uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year. This guy has accomplished everything that there is to accomplish in the National Football League at the defensive tackle position. He's deserving of all this money. And if he wanted, if he wanted $40 million, he, he deserves $40 million. He really deserved anything that he wanted. But it was long overdue. This guy deserves to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the league, and it's about time. Yeah, dude's a beast. Um, in terms of like the whole cap situation or salary cap doesn't isn't real. Um, I feel like the issue or the reason the Rams to get by it is for the current year, you obviously have to be you know below the salary cap, right? You have to have some sort of money, whatever. It could be as little as like five hundred thousand dollars if you want to sign a vet minimum contract. But you can go over the cap for future years, which is what the Rams are probably planning on doing. They still are projected to have money next season. But if you look at a team like the Packers, they have a projected $8 million cap space this year. Next year, they're projected to be $14 million over, which is why they're able to give out all of these contracts because they're, be, they're able to convert the salary to signing bonus yep. or whatever it might be this season to free up the cap space and push it down the road. You can basically keep pushing down the road, which is how the Saints were, what, $90 million over this season? Because year after year when they had those Drew Brees years and the Michael Thomas contract and all of these studs where they were constantly paying – they were just pushing it down the road. And that's the reason why I think a lot of people get confused where the salary cap isn't fake, especially in the NFL where there's it's a hard cap, right? It's not like the NBA where you have, you could be, there's a salary cap, it's a soft cap. You could be over the cap because of bird rights, right? If you have a player on your team for X amount of years, you could go over the salary cap to retain that player. You can't do that in the NFL. If you have $0, you can't go out and re-sign Patrick Mahomes just because he's been on your team for three or four years. You have to free up money by signing bonuses, trading players, whatever it might be. So the whole salary cap situation, that's why people get confused just because you're able to push it down the road and do things that you really don't do in other sports. In terms of Aaron Donald, I mean, he deserves every penny. We talked about last year or last episode. He's the best defensive player of our lifetime. I compared him to Demarcus Lawrence. Remember that? No, uh, Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> um, you know, Aaron Donald deserved every penny. I really do think the Rams need him to go on this Super Bowl, you know, want to go on and repeat mm -hmm. for the Super Bowl. While he doesn't touch the ball every play like Matt Stafford, he's probably the second most important player on this team. 
you still need him because you need to get to that absolute peak of the peak to get to the Super Bowl. You have to stay healthy. You have to have the best players on your team. Aaron Donald, the best player on this Rams team, the best player I've seen in my lifetime. He's really the only position in the entire NFL where it's no debate, right? I know Cam Hayward came out and said it's Aaron Donald and Cam Hayward than everyone else. No disrespect Cap. to Cam Hayward. Cap. Aaron Donald's in a tier of his own. We can make the argument Josh Allen, Mahomes, is it is it Cooper Cup or Justin Jefferson? Like almost through every position in the NFL. Aaron Donald's the one guy, the one position where it's just him. There's nobody in his own tier. You're looking at me funny. Jalen? Jalen. That's fair. Yeah, Jalen's probably the clear cut number one. But the, I agree. the nah, I would, take I would say the gap between Cam Hayward and Aaron oh Donald is a lot larger than Jalen Jair. And I'm nitpicking also. I'm trying to think. But exactly. But you look, you go through the rest. It's like you can make an argument for just about every position. Maybe T.J. Watt, but Miles Garrett's right there. This going up this passing and T.J. and really reaching left tackle. I'm taking Trent, Trent Williams. You over are every single person. You are. But 100. percent It's Aaron Donald. And there's a, a huge gap. ton of notches. Huge gap. Chris Jones, Cam Hayward. I'm fine with either one. Quinn and Williams, facts. PFF Joel, nice job explaining like that. that. Yeah, I like that explanation a lot. Jeffrey Simmons is another one. He is really good. I, lo- I love me some Jeffrey Simmons. Uh, f- Aaron Donald, first non-quarterback to now eclipse $30 million a season. You know, big testament to him and his hard work. Got 30. Hmm? Didn't Tyreek get 30? I think he might have got 29. I'm not sure. It's one of those. But in my notes and what I got from was like from ESPN directly – was that he's the first non-quarterback to eclipse thirty million per season, but Sean McVay thought this was going to happen. Aaron Donald attended his wedding this past Saturday, and they thought negotiations were in a good place. He's getting sixty-five million guaranteed for the first two seasons. He can retire or return in the twenty twenty-four season. He has that option, and his contract includes a no-trade clause. So it's not like the Rams are going to think about trading him anyway, but he just has that added sense of security. Aaron Donald, he's one of three defensive players since 1970 to earn a Pro Bowl selection in each of their first eight NFL seasons. He joins Lawrence Taylor and Derek Thomas. Taylor had 10. Thomas had nine. Donald has eight. Three-time defensive player of the year. He sealed the Super Bowl versus the Bengals when he sacked Joe Burrow, but now Joe Burrow has an improved offensive line, so you better they're, make sure that that, that same thing happens. He's going to be able to get that to Jamar Chase. No one's stopping Aaron Donald. Tyreek has 30 fly, Aaron Donald's at 31. Okay, These so quarterbacks get paid so, so much, So maybe bro. eclipsing 30, 30 plus million. It might now. be Tyreek gets 30 next year because he got an extension. Maybe that's yeah, that's the so, average annual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this past year, was the best thing about Aaron Donald was that this past year, regular season, including playoffs, he had 16 sacks. He's by far the most double team player in the NFL. It's not even close. You look at the charts, and, and it's and it goes by double teams. Aaron Donald is in a tier of his own, and it's not even really double teams. It's like triple teams. Yeah. It's anything to stop this guy from wreaking havoc because he's just that good. He has six seasons with at least 10 sacks, the second most by a primary interior defensive lineman. Um, since sacks became a thing in 1982, trailing only John Rando. So Aaron Donald is in a league of his own. When talking about Cooper Cup, I think his story has been amazing. A zero-star recruit to now being paid $25 million-plus in the NFL. Like, Cooper Cup didn't come into the NFL as an elite wide receiver. He's been steadily developing every year, and now I don't think anybody expected this type of season from Cooper Cup, where he is, he's now he holds the single best receiving season in NFL history. I think this was a great thing for the Rams to get done. And although you talk about the restructures, the contracts, the signing bonuses, the Saints have been pushing that back for years on end now, and it hasn't caught up with them yet. The Rams are going to be able to, to do the same thing. And while the cap is definitely there and it's real, there are so many ways to get around that to For keep sure. your players. It's just it just really depends on the type of owner that you have. Is your owner willing to once pay to now pay that credit card bill once it's due? And some owners want to win badly. The Rams are showing that right now. Some other owners don't want to, and they don't sign these great players to extensions, and they let them walk, and they let them test for agency, or they trade them because of that reason. But I think the Rams are just showcasing that they want to win another one. They're going to have one of the better chances this year in the NFL. And I don't care as much as people say it, even though Cap may be real, 
today was a bad day for everybody that's a cap oh is real God. enthusiast. For sure. Because to now have three players on the team making twenty five million plus and that's Matthew Stafford making forty million. What's Jalen making? Twenty two? He's probably making close to that, but yeah. you got Stafford making forty million, Donald thirty million, Cooper Cup twenty six million. You're now looking at ninety million between three players only, Just and we're talking about a, for fifteen, yeah, Bobby. and we're talking about a team sport that features fifty two people on a roster, yeah. fifty to fifty two to fifty five. So they're definitely showing that there's so many ways to get around yeah. the cap. And Jalen's at twenty flat, 